Good morning, it's Deacon Brain from St. Francis Cabrini, and we're here for our daily reflection. It's the feast day of the exaltation of the cross. Powerful day. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, no one has gone to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to, con to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pope Benedict said, the cross is the doorway of faith back into relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it's important to understand the power. So in almost every Catholic church, you see a crucifix with Jesus' body on it. And again, that's important, but you need to learn how to pray that Selvitic prayer that the mystics and the early church fathers did and again, so for each and every one of us now, take, take a deep breath right now. And again, so you're going to do an Ignatian meditation right now. You can either focus on the screen, there'll be a picture of the cross there, or in your own mind, just close your eyes and go before the cross right now. So take a deep breath in and go before the cross. Now, if you have pain, emotional, physical, or spiritual, if you have anxiety, depression, if you have sleeplessness, if you have diseases, infirmities, you could take them all to the cross. The cross was all about us learning the power because he took all these things to the cross. The word of God tells us that. So again, place yourself before the cross and in your own mind, focus on one of the wounds that he suffered for that, whether it's emotional, physical or spiritual, he suffered already for it. So focus on that. It could be hit the wound in his side. It could be a bruise on his face. It could be the nail in his hand. So let's just pretend it was a nail in his hand. And that's the wound that pops for you. So take, if you're going to focus on depression or, or anxiety or fear, you can leave it there in that wound, but just focus on that wound on how much pain he suffered. Feel it. You can almost feel it in your own hand right now. Feel that pain. Feel that burning up and down your arm. Now leave. If it's an infirmity, if it's a disease, if it's pain, leave it there. I have seen where pain has gone from, people tell me it's at the max at 10, and it's gone completely away after doing this prayer. And so right now, just leave whatever's going on with you right now, and any kind of thing, just leave it there in the cross, leave it there in his hand and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have suffered for me. Thank you, Lord, so I could be set free. Now, just take a deep breath now. Now, take a deep breath in. And even if you're feeling anything on your hand, it begins to leave right now. And now, that doorway, that cross, you can walk right through it. You don't have to stand there any longer. You can walk right through it into heaven and be in relationship with him, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So walk through that cross now. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Push yourself. Walk through that cross and just rest in the arms of the Father or Jesus or the Holy Spirit. They're all three persons. So in closing... 
This is a powerful way to learn how to pray, a powerful way to learn the power of the cross for each and every one of us. So as we close up here now, take time every day to meditate on the wounds of Jesus and leave your emotional, physical, and spiritual baggage there so that he can set you free. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day.